Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a super speedy design. I am coming in, firstly this is Garnet and it is from Glitterbells. Uh, it is, yes I have sped this video up, because uh, like I say it's a really simple design. Three of the fingers, well two fingers and a thumb to be precise, are going to be in Garnet which is a glitter acrylic mix and it has a red and a silver super oh, it's not a super fine it's a fine glitter in it and then on the ring finger and the middle finger we are coming in with <laughs> You can tell I've forgotten already what this one is. It is from CJP. And hang on, I need to go check. Okay, it is called Dream Captain. Now it is a strength powder, um, this particular one. So not all of the powders from CJP are strength powders, but the ones that I have, they are all strength powders as they do not have a little cap symbol on them, which says that they need to be capped. Thank you to the lovely person who told me that information. <laughs> uh, so I will just build these up. Um, I do come and add a bit more on them uh, just to ensure they've got all of the structure that they need. And then I will come in and I will cap all of the glitter ones. So as ever with glitter, what I do is I will just... Uh, wash over them with just my damp brush um then i will put a wettish thin layer over the glitter uh with clear just to make sure it sits into all of those nooks and crannies and then i will um come on and cap it as usual over the top of that as it just makes that work a bit better i do have to get used to the fact that you know I don't need to cap. I don't. I, I find it really, really bizarre. But um. But yeah, we'll get there. Which, which is great, actually. You know, it, it, either way, it it works very well. I just um. Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting the hang of um CJP a bit more, with the color side of things. Um, and a, a lot of the colours I've had have been really, really nice. So like I said, there's only one, um, which was that purple that I've struggled really with. Um, I will not be deterred. I will try it again. Because the more I, I work with the product, the hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, the better I get with it. <laughs> it's, it's not always a given, but you know, we do hope. Uh, with this, as you can see, this is... Um, Where was I going with that? Yeah, this glitter, you kind of have to build it up if you want full coverage. Um, it does have, obviously, the coloured acrylic with it, uh, but it, it does just need a little bit more building and making sure that you've got a good coverage on it. And then we're just going to do exactly the same on the thumb. And then we're going to come in the joy of my foil disaster. Uh, this was, <laughs> I've done two, de uh, two designs in quick succession. Um, both of them were using foils that I got from Amazon, um, which you would have seen there was a video ages ago, my Amazon foil delivery and um, demo. And both of them, I struggled like mad to get them to actually come off properly which is bizarre because i don't normally have an issue with foil um but yeah i w i was i was not a happy bunny let's put it that way um so i've i tried and failed a few times on this um i haven't left all of that in maybe i should have who knows? Perhaps you do. Let, 
let me know if you want to see me mess it all up uh, so i have used nail nails foil gel i have cured that in the lamp for 30 seconds so whilst it is still warm i am going to come in with the foil and for this i'm trying to get that big rose on uh, what i will do is yeah i actually take the thingy out because it, i don't know if it was these tips or if it's the finger, I don't know, just something didn't quite go according to plan. Um, anywho, we kind of get there in the end. Now, some of this transfers, which I didn't want it to transfer. So you will see what I do is I come in with just a bit of um, acetone or uh, gel cleanse on my brush. Just to clean up the bits that I don't want to be there. I really liked these. I really, really wanted them to work. You know when you've got an idea in your head and you put it together and like, this is super simple, but this is going to be super effective and I'm really going to love that. And you end up just having an absolute fight when you shouldn't have an absolute fight. And then by the end of it, you're just like, I'm just peed off now. That was kind of, kind of where I got to on these. Uh, as soon as I put the top coat on, though, I was like, ah, oh, we're all right. It's all fine. <laughs> Who doesn't love some red shiny nails? So there we go. See, we got there in the end. Yep, so I'm just trying to find... Uh, it's, it's just an old brush that I'm using. Just to clean those bits off see you just give them a good rub 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 then they will come off and then jobs are good un. so there you go all nicely cleaned up now and we're going to come along with the top coat which is obviously the best part of any video because then you make everything shine and sparkle and it just looks so beautiful and it's just so wonderful I loved it. Look at it. Oh, it was so worth it. So worth it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this nice, simple design today. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.